Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Heroes Motive School Academy. My name is Mr. Lan. I will be walking you through fourth grade English with number 35 and day number five. All right. So today's lesson is going to be predominantly about listening and verbal training. You get a chance to practice how to be a good listener. Okay. You're not going to be interrupting people when they are still in the middle of their sentences. Why? Because you could hurt emotions like that. Well, some people do it inadvertently, not necessarily trying to hurt other people's emotions. It's just because they can't tell when people are in the middle of their state of sentences because they've not been trained on how to do that. Well, that's the reason for this lesson. So we talked about speech cadences before. We talked about accents. We talked about intonations. Fall in intonation, rise in intonation, fall, rise in intonation. All those things are going to train you to let you know that a good speaker is going to be in the middle of his or her sentence. I should not interrupt him or her. I am going to wait for them to finish making their point before I make my point as well. All right. You are going to have good listening skills by just learning those fundamentals. All right, so that, that's what we do in this lesson, and we've been doing that since the beginning of the year. This is week number 35. We are gonna try to do it, uh, do it again. All right, so what is the process? I am going to read a scripture to you. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna read a scripture from the Bible. Why? Because in addition to practicing good listening skills, you've got to intertwine your learning experience together with the knowledge of God. So you do not use that knowledge to do something bad on the outside. And there are lots of people like that. They are supposedly educated, supposedly smart, but guess what? They're gonna use that knowledge to go steal credit card numbers online, on their computers. Oh, they can do lots of bad things over there on the outside. Why? Because their learning experience was not tightly coupled with the knowledge of the Creator. So we don't want that to be your portion coming through the HHA. We want you to use your knowledge for the glory of God and to better humanity. All right, so I am gonna to read to you. You are not going to interrupt me. You are gonna watch for the fall in intonation, the rise in intonation, to let you know that I am still in the middle of my sentence. Then when my pitch drops, you are going to make your point, all right? And then we are going to repeat that scripture together. You are going to repeat right after me afterwards. But firstly, let's listen together. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Matthew chapter 11 verse 29. All right. I'm going to read it one more time. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Matthew chapter 11 and verse 29. All right. So did you see how my pitch is modulated up and down a little bit? To let my readers know, I'm still trying to make a point over here. I'm not done with my point just yet. Please listen to me. All right. So you're going to repeat that scripture right after me. So take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart. And you will find rest for your souls. Matthew chapter 11 verse 29 all right let's try to do it one more time take my yoke upon you and learn from me for i am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls matthew chapter 11 verse 29 
All right, did you get something from that? So moms and dads, please help them practice how to do that to be good listeners and potentially good speakers as well. All right, so the second part of the lesson today is uh, verbal training in which we are going to get words that are closely related together in their enunciation. And we are going to pronounce those words together to build our pronunciation skills a little bit. Watch with me on the board. All right, so let us try to build our enunciation with these two words over here. This is listening, listening, and verbal training. Listening and verbal training. All right, so look at these two words over here. So there is a word that you may want to spell like that, C-H-E-E-R, and then there is another word, C-H-I-R. All right. So if you're not a good speaker, you may say this word and people are gonna think, well, you're speaking, you're saying this word. <laughs> so that's the reason it's, it's important to listen to people and you know, use your IPA's notation in your dictionary as well. Well, what is this word? This word is cheer, which in IPA goes like that and like that or the phonetic respelling of it is just gonna be like the word itself. Cheer, all right? Cheer, all right, cheer. Now this word over here in IPA is spelled like this. I believe there is something like this here. And like that. And just like that in the phonetic respelling of it. Well, guess what? This word is cheer. This one is chair. There's a difference. Chair. Cheer. Chair. Cheer. Chair. Okay? And you're welcome to, to uh, watch the way the words are going to be pronounced in your dictionary as well. So type in especially dictionary.com. Those guys are doing a fine job. I wish to stay around forever dictionary.com. You are going to see an audio tool over there that will help you to enunciate, to pronounce those words, these words a little bit better. Chair. Cheer. Chair. Cheer. All right. <laughs> Did you get something from it? I sure hope so. Well, thank you boys and girls for joining me today. Remember, God cares about you and so do we. Bye-bye. your hero's body and as you study with heroes born I will be your friend so don't you